Hey everybody, um, so I am putting together some gunfighters for um, Dead Man's Hand and this is from the starter kit. Um, so I have, YouTube keeps bugging me to do a short, so I have a quick tip for you about um, kit bashing um, multi-pose kits like this with parts. So this is one of the sprues from Dead Man's Hand, and um, you can see it's Western themed, but uh, you only get a certain number of heads and a certain number of poses. Like there's, let's see, five, five minis uh, or five um, torsos on each sprue, and then you're kind of left over with a bunch of bits and bobs like handguns, shotguns, things like that, etc. So <clears throat> this is because it's an um, uh, it's a North Star sprue, they're going to be compatible with uh, pretty much everything else that they make. So I have some, let's see, I've got some Frostgrave Knolls here. I've got a, um, some Knoll sprues. And uh, I went ahead and I, I bashed um, some some null uh, gunfighters right here. Former, yeah. Uh, put together some some nulls because I just think that I just really wanted some null uh, bandits. And um, <clears throat> uh, but what I did with these guys was I just. Um, I just I took the uh, the regular null arms and then chopped off the um, a gunfighter hand and put it on a null arm and then with these ones I just took the regular arms from one of these gunfighter sprues and then stuck them on a null and that's pretty straightforward right but there is a trick to it um, I can show you guys so. Let's see, that's definitely a null arm. Um, the problem is, is that sometimes you have some gaps and stuff. Um, so I wanna give, I wanna give one of these nulls, um, or let's see, I already have one with a shotgun, I have one, I need a, a null with a, uh, a rifle. Not that these bow and arrow and like crossbows would be really bad, but I want I want gunslinger knolls. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and take this off, and then I'm gonna snip this hand off, and don't get rid of these, you know these these parts. Like put them in your uh, bits and bobs box, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take a nail file, and then make that flat. Right there and then I'm going to take a handgun or maybe I'll just use one of these rifle hands yeah I think I'll use a rifle hand and snip that off Got my null arm and then the, uh, the rifle here, and then I've kind of you know filed it down so it's pretty flat with a little nail file. Um, so now, what I want to do is uh, I'm going to glue these together, but I'm not going to use super glue or any other kind of glue, I am going to use. Um, uh, but plastic cement and so plastic cement what this is is it's <clears throat> the main ingredient is acetone the active ingredient so it actually melts the plastic and uh, creates a, a plastic weld so um, and then what I like to do is I will I have one jar 
that is uh it's full of like bits of sprue or sprue goo some people call it so it's like after they've clipped everything off of a sprue then they take the chunks and put them in a bottle like this i prefer to use this kind of styrene though like the um the white stuff because it melts a lot better it makes a superior sprue goo but um so what i like to do is i will take just a little dot of this stuff and then the thing that's nice about this stuff is that it's super sticky um so basically it just it, it holds a lot better when i stick those two parts together like that And then if there's any squeeze out, then I like to go around with the regular stuff and then just kind of clean that up a little bit. And that weld is going to turn into one uh, solid piece of plastic. So this stuff works really well to do um, gap filling too. So I'm just going to let this dry for a minute and then uh, I'll go ahead and put, um, put another uh, arm on this side because that can, that can be the problem is that these uh, with the multi-part kits sometimes they're just, they sort of go together but they don't go together quite the right way. So you need to kind of, you know, do a little bit of gap filling or something like that. Okay, so just show you how, how I like to do this. Put a dot down, and you can be generous with it. It just the, the squeeze out cleans up pretty easily. Um, and then put that sucker on there. You can see it holds pretty good right away. And then I just go around and kind of clean up the squeeze out. But it makes um, kit bashing these guys pretty painless. Like, um, let's see, what else? What else have I got? Hmm. So I um, I had some frost grave uh, sprues lying around too. These are frost grave wizards, so I went ahead and um, just bashed together a uh, like a priest with a gun character real quick too. So yeah, I mean I think that can be a great way to kind of you know spread these <laughs> spread these kits out to make uh, make some different looking figures um, from the the North Star kits. But uh, but yeah, anyways. Um, thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next one. Take care.